Hey Freedom Real Estate, we have the Walther PDP. We're gonna take a look at what Holosun Optics install on this as well as their ability to co-witness. And for those of you who don't know, when I'm talking about ability to co-witness, all I'm talking about is when an optic is installed on the slide, how much of the front and rear iron sights you're able to see through the optic in case of any optic failures. That way you're still able to use the iron sights to aim. And quick side note, these are all for the Walder PDPs with the 2.0 cut, not the 1.0 cut. All the plates I'm talking about are specifically for the 2.0 cut. Now for the PDP, this is talking about PDPs with the standard height iron sights. So this will cover the Compact and F series. We have both of them at the shop here, so we're able to test it out. We're gonna start with the RMR optics. We have two plate brands here, Calculated Kinetics and CHPWS. Both of them will work on here. We'll do the CHPWS for this video. And it doesn't matter which brand you're using. I'll show you in a second here, but both of them are too high to co-witness with any of the RMR optics. And while we're on the RMR series, I do have a 509T specific plate that eliminates the need for two plates. Uh, instead, it's just one plate, which will give us the best ability to co-witness if it does. You'll see this in a second as well. But again, for the RMR series, even with a dedicated plate, it is still too thick to co-witness with the standard height iron sights. Now for the PDP platform, Holosun does have an SCS site. It's the solar charging site. So this footprint is designed specifically for the PDP so that there's no plates involved at all. You could technically use the SCS carry as well, uh, which again is part of the SCS lineup, but that will require a plate and you lose some of the ability to co-witness. So if you really are looking for an SCS optic, the SCS PDP is the one that you're gonna want. And for the K-Series, uh, the 407K, 507K, EPS carry, and SCS carry, we do have two plate options. Again, calculated kinetics or CHPWS. And there's everything that'll fit the Walder PDP. The SCS PDP is obviously gonna be the best choice if you're looking for a co-witness. Uh, that requires no plates and Holosun obviously built it specifically for this platform, so it could co-witness. And any of the K-Series will give you the ability to co-witness if you were looking to do any of the RMR series. Unfortunately, that has no co-witness availability with the standard height iron sights, including the 509T, which has a dedicated plate. One additional thing that I wanted to know is that the full-size EPS actually does look pretty good on this gun. It doesn't overhang out compared to other pistols that we've been reviewing. And if you wanted an enclosed emitter that had the ability to co-witness, this is your option because the 509T cannot co-witness. You also have the ability to choose the SCS carry, but between the two of these, if you wanted to manually select the uh, reticle and be in charge of the brightness, EPS is probably the way to go. Everything you saw in today's video can be found at freedomgorilla.com. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or hit us up on our website. As always, thanks for watching.